Hey you all, welcome back to the channel. It's your buddy Wilson. Starting another game today. Today we're going to start Call of Cthulhu, do some Lovecraft. I played through this when it came out last year. I remember it being decent. I don't remember it. Obviously I don't remember it being rememberable. Um, but I do, I did consider playing it again when I finished it the first time. I just never got around to it. So I figure let's do it for the channel. Go oh, here. Let's do it! Chapter 1, Pierce Investigation Agency, Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He's now a private detective who has trouble fighting a case, able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly, or risk losing his license. But he can't find a case because he's just fucked up all the time, drunk at his desk, blah, waiting for some chick in a red dress to come in. Oh, drunk. I can't find anybody. Blah. All right, let's do this. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Howard Phillip. Howie. Blah, guts everywhere, ah, fish guts, shark face. It's pretty cool. It's a fucking shark. Shark boy, what up? Oh, get up, dude. Oh, watch out for them guts. Yeah, careful. Careful. Watch your step. Hey, oh, you may feel a little dizzy now. I like games that save right off the fucking bat. Ah, oh, I wanted to check out that shark, boyo. No? Alright, let's go upstairs. Tutorial. Freaking fish spine. We've got chopped up fish. More fish. Back here. Do I have a light? Can I get a light? My cigarette? Can't go this way. Look. Yeah, you can't. You can't break the chain. Crawl through here. Shop. Wish you up. Yep. Can't do it, dude. You're not strong enough. You're a little bitch. Can't break that chain, you little bitch. Get your little girly arms. That's where they put the fish in the bucket. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Yeah, I'd prefer a. Uh, there's my lantern. What up, lantern boy? Gimme. Hurricane lamp. There's totally a hurricane going on. You see it? Give me them. Thank you. Check out what's up over here. I'm looking for Mother Ga Mother Koss. It's down here, boy. Yeah, fucking ship. Boxes, some bullshit. What's that? What's that? What's that? What is that? It's nothing. Oh, dude. Yeah, let's get out of here. How do I run? There you go. Running away. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. Running away like a scared little girl. That's me. I'm fucking terrified. Yep. Clip them. Pardon me. I would like to come in now. Oh. Bruh. Yeah, well, I mean, no, I'm just, just passing through, really. Is this a joke? I like it better if I can hear myself. All right, listen up. I don't know what's going on in here, uh, and I also don't give two shits. Uh, I'm just trying to pass through. Really, I don't want to... Want to disturb anything, you know, bother you guys or nothing. I'm just trying to get out of here, basically. I mean, you guys want to slaughter whales and shit. I really don't give a fuck. Um, 
What? Me? Bro, I'm only putrid because of the shit you got laying all over here. I've. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Who? By who? Who chose me? Oh yeah, what up now? Can't can't fight the light of the hurricane lantern. Oh. Whatever. I don't even know what that does. Look. Game save. This Whoa. Whoa, what happened to your face, bro? Don't do it! But perhaps you will attempt to change it. I'm gonna try. Why'd you shoot a guy with a squid arm? Alright. Whoa. I hate whiskey. I love it. How dare you say such a thing? All right, um, so I'm in my office. I got fucked up last night. Woke up at my desk. Hell yeah, have a drink. You fucking kidding me, I deserve it. Whew. Yeah, bite the dog, baby. Woof. All right, what are we drinking? Maker's Mark? Kind of? No? It's been a while since I jotted down something other than my night. Yeah, well, why don't it's because you don't work. The case Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they're different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? Fucking Cthulhu, bro. Who do you think? You, have you seen the fucking cover art for this game? Have you read the title? No, I rather like the uh, old timey. Makes me feel better. Cause I'm probably not gonna hear. Oh, what do you? What the fuck? The phone? Yeah. I'm Hello. Listening. Are you Edward Pierce, private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Yeah, that's me. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Hey. I'm Lucy Sheriffield. What's up, baby? Of investigators over at Wentworth. Uh huh? I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Eight character points. I'll get your character points. Each character point will improve a certain. Score of a skill. The cult doesn't represent your knowledge of the occult science, but your skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and expressing your knowledge of the myth. Well, let's see. I'm a drunk. So I probably got that beer strength. Okay, we'll go there. Validate. Yes. No! What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Well, I'm fucked up all the time, so... Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Nope, I hung up, bitch. Don't even, I don't even want to hear it. I'm coming. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Sir, put your mask on. Here you are, they're coughing. What's up, Grandpa Joe? Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? A little Stephen bitch. Wilson, industrialist and art collector. All of Boston knows you. 
Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Well, you Sarah, kind of look like one. Girl. She is dead. Is she? Even Sorry. Even know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. <sighs> the yeah. painter. Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. Simon. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Right. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. I know it. She would never have done such a thing. Never. But if you have no proof. I've brought all that I have. Look. You brought a painting. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Do I have to? I mean, I'm gonna have to charge you 30 bucks. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. I don't work for free, sir. You manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at the picture. That's all you've got? Don't do it for the free, painting. dude. I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. All right, let's read the file first. Is this it? A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins mental frailty why a press cutting an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charlie Hawkins a businessman from the island of Darkwater they live a recluse life with their only son Simon okay file on Sarah Hawkins case What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? You shouldn't take this painting lightly. Find out about Warehouse 36. Where did she live? Something's not right with this story. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. It's locked. Oh, it's unlocked? The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Darkwater? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah Boston. lived there with her son and her husband. Said it wrong. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. Yeah. You must uncover it. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. Yeah. I'm aware of that. 
I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions warehouse. Where did this from? It came with and you think your daughter. That is what go to dark. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. Everybody. She never would have heard a fly. Mm -mm. She only thought she saw things. Yeah, crazy things. Saw like... things. What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. Octopus monster. Find out the truth about her life and death. Bro, are you gonna get me killed? I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. Is she a slut? I'm on your side. Let some things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Yep. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. To find All handsomely. Right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Oh, and you Something's insult me on the way out the door? But it's not like I have a choice. What a fucking jerk off. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never, never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. That's right. I'm a boss. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Is that all you have to say about that? That's all I have to say about that. Let's have another drinky poo. Drinky poo. God, I love whiskey. Fucking A. Alright. What else? I'm buzzing, buddy. No? What's this? Ooh, a dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatment for herpes, if you have that. All right, let's, uh, we miss anything? We got that one, we got that one. Oh, the painting. Oh, and this book. Whoopsie. I used to be an avid reader. Not anymore. Now I'm just an avid drinker. The lost Getting battalion. fucked up. Good Holding stuff. your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top notch cases. <laughs> yeah, and they're threatening you with being fired. Oh, wait. Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cured artist is accused. Cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address of a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Good God, dude. Let's go. Nice boat, dude. It's probably not our boat. Somebody's boat. That was the introduction. Okay. 
Hey, there's me. There's us. God, we're handsome. Look at that scar on the face. Ooh. Oh, it looked like a scar. Like, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's about time. Guys coming to unload. Top men. Welcome to Dark Water Island, Mr. Pierce. Thank you, what you nice crusty old sea bastard. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story. All prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a land lover, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Oh. A nice young woman and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick me up. Always. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. Where? As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Why'd you uh, why'd you leave your binoculars on, dude? You should have left those on the boat. What are you doing? What's up over here, bros? Oh, y'all got a whale, huh? Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is? We push it too much, we break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Uh-oh. You'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Are you ugly? Don't treat me like another one of these locals. You're completely overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. What are you thinking? That you can call the National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else. Huh? Oh, you're a real prick. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. What's up, what's up with you, dude? You just gonna fucking reel that thing back in, or what? Taking your sweet old time, bro. Anyway. 
trouble. Yeah, he is. You guys you fucked up. You're not sailors. Yeah, you're not sailors. It's nice when I had that lantern. Is this my lantern? Can I have this? Please? Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, let's go uh, talk to Fitzroy or whatever the fuck his name is. You in here, bro? What's up, dog? What's up, you old sea dog? Hey. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. Oh, yeah? They're on the table next to you. But in oh, truth, yeah? you're likely to be disappointed. When you're oh, done, yeah? come join me on the deck. Yeah, you got it, buddy. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Everybody. Everybody want that information to be hidden. What's up over here? This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Yeah? What do you care? The Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Huh? What's up? What's this? Ethics and good practice. What's this? What are you? What's that? What is all this stuff? Where do you go? Upstairs? Is this where this dude fucking crashes? Must be. It's got a lot of green candles, man. What? Fucking guy. What's in here? What's this, this man and Fitzroy could be twins. In the photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of his ship. He has a wooden leg. Fitzroy doesn't have a wooden leg. Does he? He could. He has pants on, doesn't he? He couldn't see his wooden leg if he had one, but we'd probably hear it. Oh, there it is! What Here. a macabre souvenir. Macabre. Alright, now that we've thoroughly invaded this man's uh, privacy, we are going to... Follow him out on the deck. Go out through here. It's over here. I saw a thing. This? I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Meow. Meow. Captain Fitzroy, who's your one legged friend? Sir. There he is. What's up, Chief? From here, I see everything that you see <laughs> in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Yes. Trenches that plunge into the earth. I have. That shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? There's some decent wounds. <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. 
What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? So yes, you I are being blackmailed. Uh, but she being terrifies extorted. my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Yeah, don't you worry about it. I was looking at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I already saw it. It's a fucking wooden leg. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. Yeah, I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I don't know. It's not my signature next to that of Charles Hawkins. I'm at sea for more than half the year. Anyone could have done it during my absence. What seems really important to me is that the dates on these manifests indicate that Charles probably had other contracts. Well, of course but he not did. not with you, though. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. Yep. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Your mother? It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Can you tell me where the warehouse is again? <laughs> Look, I've already shown it to you. It's the one with the cop on guard duty out front. You can't miss it. I already did this. All right, we're good. I shall be on my way. Yeah. So come back and see me when you've got something new. I will. I'll remember you. Take it easy, Viceroy. You got, yeah, you got two legs. All right, cool. Do to do. Let's go check out the bar. Get a fucking drink. Yeah, dude. What's this? Prohibition is just a joke around here. Uh huh. That suits me fine. It's nineteen nineteen, huh? Cutscene. You're finna get knocked out. Told you. Hey, be careful. What's up, cat? Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I don't have time for all this bravado. Don't be so high and mighty, sir. We don't like mainland snobs. I'm here Snoops. for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Cat. Anything else? 
Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That oh, come Drinking it here, anything else? Give me a fucking drink, jerk off. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since Never, then. never. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own. Well, I'm mind. trying. Her vision, was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? You won't give me any whiskey. I've got what I need. Anything else? What can you tell me about her? We are then. I've got what I need. Any What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Oh, yeah? Screams, that sort of thing. I figured they would have been squishy Screams. noises. Like, and that's not all. Like slimy octopuses. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Yeah. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because drinking it anything else? You're a fucking loser, dude. That'll Fuck you. That'll be all for now. You, you little bitch. Fuck with me again. What? Another break? One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. It's just that standing guard in this alley makes your throat dry. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Do you like our song? Love it. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. <laughs> they all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. 
I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Miraculous. It's a local legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. Mm -hmm. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. How do you know? I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. <laughs> Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see? It's your proof that the miraculous catch really did happen. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Later. I had the wing of a journey boy. I would let the man fly home. I'd leave all green plants. I see ground. For not a right. Well, there is no. And the weather is rough. And the wind to blow. Song sucks. I don't care what story it tells. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. We'd given up hope. The crew of the Cilia wrote remains of a return to the dark water port late on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. The people were, were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the fo formidable tooth whales, the crustacean cetacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck of, and parts of it were hanging over the sides of the ship. Surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat, unmatched in its quality and plentiful, nutritious benefit. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bring an end to the famine which, from which part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks, special evening with the stranded whale. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the stranded whale invite you to the exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or with friends to the taste, the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so do not hesitate. I said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You said. She will do it again, you know. Who? The girl doctor, Colby. She won't stop asking. Not that again. She will get us into trouble. Uh, I know, I know. Hmm. What you looking at, stranger? I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, uh, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. I don't care, bitch. All right. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah, 
That's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Hmm. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker and a debtor. Interesting. Ms. Boker always free for the lady. Sure. All right. Um, I saw that. What was that? Who are you? Fuck off me. What's up, bro? You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. Fuck them bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. I shall take my leave. Take it. Take your leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old winch to lift. What? Okay. So I have to find something to put on there. Yeah. Okay. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? This handle will be perfect for the winch. Yes, it sure will. Let's go up the ladder, over here, la la la. What? Okay, fucking crank it, bro. Okay, so there's got to be something else. So I gotta be missing something. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Anything else? A whale vertebra. 
If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. A ratchet device. Okay. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. So do it. What are you fucking waiting for? Damn. I broke it. Way to go, stupid. Now what? broke what broke what do I need well well a little mouse has got lost on our turf. Oh, hey, bitch. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. Yeah, and you're a slut. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? I ain't talking to you. Go fuck yourself. Has the cat got your tongue? No. You've come for a fight. What I've got to say won't change a thing. You're a quick learner. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Oh, yeah? Is your name Cat? What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Or maybe not. Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Where the hell am I? All right, um, that's going to do it for part one. It was a ton of exposition, but what are you going to do? We're just starting the story. Uh, next time we're going to deal with that woman and continue trying to get into this freaking warehouse. Um, as I expected, I don't remember a whole lot of playing this game. Uh, hence the hard time getting putting the uh, ratchet mechanism together and all those parts. And it seemed like a dialogue tree. I didn't, I didn't know why I was trying to give me a dialogue tree. Uh, but whatever. Yeah, that's called Cthulhu. I think this is going to be fun. I like these uh, Lovecraftian, culty kind of mystic games. So yeah, I think we're going to have fun with this one. Um, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the channel, guys, please like, comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. really helps. That's going to be it for part one of Call of Cthulhu. And I'll see you guys next time. We're going to play some more horror. Not indie horror. This isn't indie horror. This is a AAA game, isn't it? I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Yeah.